Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Well, I've received a lot of requests from viewers like you who say, Steve, you're doing all these great reviews on drones, but can you do a low cost drone review every now and then? Cause I don't have a lot of money. So I have one for you. I have a drone here. It's called the JJRC X13. Comes in a case. Look at this. You get a case with it. Nice foam case. And it's about $100 US. I'm serious. Check this out. Let me open up the case here and look at that. It's a, uh, yeah, it's like a phantom. It's a phantom drone. So it's pretty much a mini phantom. It has a camera on it that takes a micro SD so you can record video. You know, usually for $100 US, you don't get brushless motors, but I've got brushless motors on this one. And the camera, you can move it up and down electronically. Uh, and as I mentioned, you can put a micro SD card in it. On the website for this here JJRC X13, it says it has 4K and uh, you know, I've done everything I can. I can't get 4K out of this. I think it's 1080p. Well, at least mine's 1080p and it's 1080p at 25 frames per second. But honestly, think about it. For $100 US, do you think you would get a drone that is a full 4K 30 frames per second? No. So uh, yeah, it's probably 1080p. Maybe they have a later version. Sometimes they send pre-production models to me and uh, they're only 1080p and then later they put 4K in it but the 4K would be like 17 frames per second if it even existed. But for now, I can only review what I have, so let's go fly this. All right, let's take out our drone, put that over here. Now you have to put the props on it. So I have four props in here. There we go, we're all set there. We have our controller and we have our phone holder right here. Let's get our phone in here, power on the drone. There we go, comes to life. Power on the controller, move this. There we go, two beeps, we're all ready to go. So, just have to start up the app and we're ready to fly. Now the app we're gonna use to fly this is uh, this one over here. VSGS Pro is the app. So before we take off, we have to do a compass calibration, press this button, wait for a beep. There we go. The light should be blinking. Can you see the little blinking lights? So you just spin it three or four times or whatever like this. Got to get those lights to stop blinking all around. And then you spin it this way. And, oh, you got to put the camera up. Spin it this way. Try not to drop this thing. Put it back down. And hopefully I did that correct. So I have it ready to fly on my screen. So let's see if it flies. Pull these in. Well, prop start up. And uh, let's see if it goes up. Look at that! It rises! It's alive! Alright, so it's it's supposed to have dual GPS, so it is really stable actually. It's pretty weird. Here we go, I've got the record on the drone, and uh, that's what it looks like. I'm walking around here. So, how does that look? That's 1080p, I'm upscaling this to 4K, so you get the 4K resolution. Let me show you the cool things about this drone. So uh, what am I gonna show you first? It only has 19 minutes of flight time, so I gotta do this quick. Look at the left-hand side of my screen. There's a little square, hit that. Those are all your cool little options. So the first one, lens turn, is gonna flip your screen if your screen is upside down. Next, you have VR mode. That's if you wanna put the funny goggles on your face where you put your cell phone in front of your face. That's your VR mode. Next, you have waypoints. I'll go to that one later. Let's try the GPS follow. Ooh, the wind is picking up here. Where's that thing going? Well, I thought it was gonna fly away on me. Where are you going? Okay, <laughs> it wants to follow. I have no idea, but it's, it's got me. So let's see if it works. GPS follow, it says. Are you gonna follow? Well, it's coming. Here, I'll turn my back on it. Let's see if it hits something besides me. Don't hit me. So the drone is there. It's following, but it's got the wrong orientation. Uh, it's not facing me. So I'll put it up higher this time and try a GPS follow. Now, while the drone is up there, let me show you the camera. I can move the camera down on me. There I am right there. Let's try GPS follow again and see what it does. For some reason, the GPS thinks my phone is pointing this way over here. So it thinks my phone's over there. Yeah. So uh, there's some disconnect between my phone. I'm using an iPhone and the drone. So one of them is not calibrated correctly. So I'm gonna guess it's probably my phone since that's usually the case. So you can see me walking out of frame here. Here, I'll bring this up. So if it was working, this is what the follow looks like. I'm holding this out. See me in the picture? I'm going in and out. So let's hop out of that because that's not doing much. What else do we have on here? We have surround. It's supposed to surround and fly around me. So let's put it someplace where it's not going to smash into anything. Okay, I'm going to hit the surround. Let's see what happens. Surrounding. It should, it's going over here now. 
So once again, it's got to find my phone. It's turned the opposite direction. It's looking the other way. What's it going to do? Well, it's taking a nice picture of the uh, structure over there, but it's not. Th maybe I got to hit a button here. Hang on, let me hit a button. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. So it it faces the direction, then you have to hit a button, and then it surrounds. Okay, that's why. So there we go. I've got it uh, up there. You can see it's going around over there. So the surround does work. Flies nice, nice and slow. Surrounding, what's that one? Gesture, we're not doing that. Lock, rocker, rockers if you want to fly it with your phone. Find my drone and speed. So let me just try speed. So this is speed number one. Nice and slow. Easy to fly. And let's go to speed number two. Okay, two beeps, that must be faster. That's better. Whoa, now we're going. Okay. <clears throat> Let me show you along the bottom. You have a zoom. So if I hit the zoom, I could zoom in to me. There we go. Zooming in. I don't know if that ends up on the actual final recording on the card. And I can also change the color. There's a little color thing over here. There we go. I can go fairy tale. All these different colors. That's kind of weird. Cold, calm. I don't know why anybody would use that. Now I will say if you're using an Android phone, vice an iPhone, you get different features because I've tried it on an Android and the color thing is pretty cool because I can do like a sketch thing. Okay, now that I'm here, let me just try this. I'm gonna take it up and try waypoint. And let's go waypoint flight. Let's do some waypoints around me. One, two, three, and four. Four waypoints, go. Let's try those. Slide, it's gonna do it. Oh, it's going. There we go, do my four waypoints. Where are you going? Are you even coming back? Where are you going? Whoa, it's missing every tree. <laughs> Here, let me take it up. I gotta stop the waypoint thing. That's killer. So it does have some cool things on it. Like uh, for one thing, it's very, very stable and you can fly it, do all sorts of things. I have it sort of kind of following me here as I'm walking sideways in slow motion. So it kind of does that. It's pretty good for that. It's very exact. When it sits in the air, it's pretty darn decent. But all those other goofy features it has, I don't know. And what do you think about the 1080p video that you're getting right now? Is it, is it really that good? Oh, coming pretty close to these chairs. <laughs> there we go, made it over that. So it's a smooth drone. It's $100 US. Do I have anything else to show you out here? Let me, let me show you the settings really quick. Here we go. There you go. So you have beginner mode on and off, flight distance, altitude. You have your start calibrations, you have your radius. I already have mine saved to 11 meters. So when I did my orbit, the circle, I had it set to 11 meters. And then you have your general settings right there, English. Add coordinate watermarks to photos. This one's pretty cool, I forgot to show you that. Let me go back and show you. So I'll put it into photo mode. So I'm gonna take a photo of me and it's gonna put the GPS coordinates and a bunch of stuff down here. Or is it down here? I don't know. Here we go, let me snap a photo. Let me go way up and take a big photo. All right, let's try out the return to home. Since I have a low battery, let's see what happens. Here it comes. Home is pretty much right over here where I took off. So I'll just stand over here so I'm out of the sun. Looks like our 19 minutes of flight time is up. Where's it coming down? Okay. So it is pretty accurate, you know, it took off right, I think it took off right over here by this little rust mark down here and it's landed over there. So that's not too bad. All right, so there you have it, the JJRC X13. Let me just move the camera up. Listen to that beep, listen to that beep. Some people don't mind that. So what did you think of the JJRC X13? Now keep in mind, it is $100 US. And if I jump back two years or even just one year and look at what you got for $100 US, eh, it wouldn't even compare. This would be phenomenal, this thing would be phenomenal compared to a year ago. So technology has come a long way. So $100, that's your budget. You get a drone like this. Now keep in mind, you get the drone, you get the huge controller, and the range on this is supposed to be about 500 meters. You know, I just flew it around here. It seems pretty good. And you do get the carry case. So that's pretty decent, you know, in a $100 drone, you get all that. So I think that's what they're shooting for, trying to get some budget drone out the door that's pretty decent and that does everything it says it does for, you know, $100. Now today I flew this drone with an iPhone. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I sometimes use an Android phone. This is a Note 8, Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 8. And I tried this indoors with the Note 8. And guess what? The app is a little bit different. You get a little bit different features and it flies a little bit differently. So if I would have flown this today using the Android, it might have flown differently. You know, my Android phone has always been good with the GPS when I want to do GPS follow on these low cost drones. 
but my iPhone has <laughs> never been that good. The drone always thinks the iPhone is in a different location. I've never done a calibration on the iPhone, so maybe that's my problem. So all that to say that your results are going to vary depending on the phone you use and you know how calibrated it is. So there you have it, the JJRC X13. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on this drone, post them below. I will put a link to the Geekbind website where this is available for $100 US. You have to use the code to get the discount to bring it down to close to $100 US. I will put that below as well. So check everything is below this video. For now, I say thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in future videos with many more drone reviews. Till then, bye. And now it's time for a super quick unboxing of this drone. It comes in a really nice styrofoam case with a handle. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Locking system here. Opening up the carrying case, we have drone right here and the remote control. Let's take everything out of the box and look at it closely. First item in the box is the instruction manual and a document to tell you which app to use. Next, we have the drone and I have put the battery in. You can see right there, it comes almost fully charged and you can see the indicator lights on the bottom right there. This drone does not have external sensors, so there's no optical flow on the bottom because the camera's in the way. There's no height sensor, ultrasonic sensor, anything like that. You can see on the bottom of the camera right here a spot for a micro SD card there's your camera it does have brushless motors it feels quite solid in the hand there's a side view of the camera system battery slides in the back you can see there's a USB spot right here to charge up the battery let's pull the battery out and it is a 7.4 volt battery at 2200 milliamps included with the drone you get six props so four on the drone two spares the props are your typical idiot proof props you see the letter A on them so you just match the A with the A on the arm there is a letter A and that's a letter A on this prop, put them together. Here we have the drone with the props on, the batteries in the drone, let's weigh it. How much does this little guy weigh? 458 grams. Also included are four prop guards if you want to fly indoors or outside around trees or objects. Next we have the controller, a little spot here for your cell phone, and let's go over the buttons really fast. On the front you have four buttons, here's your power button, then your normal buttons, your return to home, your speed control, a few other things, and if you look on the side here that's how you control your camera up and down, and then over on this side we have our video and our photo. And to power the controller you will need four AA batteries. And finally, you get a USB cable to charge up the battery for the drone and as well a little Phillips screwdriver. That's kind of nice. And you use this to take off the panel off of the back of this controller to put the four AA batteries in. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see where you can get this drone, links are below. Check them out if you have questions. Post the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And uh, we will catch you in future videos with many more drone reviews. Bye.